Windows 11 computers that use ARM processors started appearing in 2024. And of course, we want to use our drawing tablets with those computers. So I have some really good news for you. In most cases, you will be able to fully use your drawing tablet with Windows on ARM PCs. Back in June of 2024, I tested four different drawing tablet brands, and the situation was really frustrating. None of them worked with Windows on ARM. However, as of February 17th, 2025, the situation is looking really good. Wacom, Sense Labs, and XP Pen all have drivers now that work with Windows 11 ARM computers. And the latest tablet driver from Huion partially works. I tested this on a Microsoft Surface Laptop 7, which uses the Snapdragon X Elite ARM processor. And for the app, I used Krita. Let's start with Sense Labs. We have to give some credit to Sense Labs because they were the very first tablet brand to announce support for Windows on ARM. And this started with driver version 1.3.4-75, which was released back in September of 2024, well ahead of any other brand. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind with the Sense Labs tablet driver, they have two Windows tablet drivers. There's one for just Windows, and there's a separate one for Windows on ARM. It's labeled here as Windows ARM 64. And that's the one you want, so make sure you download the correct one. XP Pen announced support for Windows on ARM back in January 14th, 2025, with driver version 4.0.6.241211. On the download page for the driver, you can see it was actually made available on December 19th, 2024 and Wacom released an ARM-compatible driver, version 6.4.9-2, on February 12, 2025. As you can see from the driver release notes, it clearly supports Windows 11 on ARM. And finally, we have Huion. Now, I want to make it absolutely clear. Huion has not officially released ARM support in their tablet driver. But I did decide to test their latest driver anyway to see if there was any improvement. So I downloaded and installed version 15.7.6.1357. This version was released on January 10th, 2025. So the results were mixed with this driver. When the driver and applications were configured to use Windows Inc, things did not work correctly. The first issue was there was no pressure sensitivity. I could draw, but my strokes were always the same width. And there was a second, even larger problem. I could use the pen to move the pointer on the screen for a few seconds, and then the tablet would just ignore the pen for a second, and then it would start listing the pen again, and this cycle just went on and on. So fundamentally, it could not be used. However, when I turned off Windows Inc. in the driver and in an application, then everything just worked. I am going to make a separate video talking about Windows Inc. and how to configure it. But to keep it simple for now, to disable Windows Inc., you have to do three things. You have to turn off Windows Inc. in the tablet driver. And you can turn it off globally for all applications, or you can turn it off for a specific application. In this case, I turned it off for all applications. Step two, you have to turn Windows Inc. off in the application. Step three, you restart the application. Some of you may not be familiar with where to do these steps, so let me show you. Here's the Huion tablet driver. You go to Digital Pen, pressure sensitivity adjustment, and then at the bottom left, you uncheck Enable Windows Inc. And that turns it off in the driver. And then in Krita, if you want to turn off Windows Inc., you go to Settings, Configure Krita, Tablet Settings, and then you can choose which API you want to use. And here you switch it from Windows Inc. to WinTab. And then of course, once you've made these changes in the application, you should restart the application. So in summary, things are looking pretty good especially if you have a Wacom, XP Pen, or Sense Labs tablet. It's safe to buy any Windows 11 on ARM computer. But it's always wise to verify that the driver version you download supports your tablet. If you're not sure whether the tablet driver supports your specific tablet, you should be able to find that information in the tablet driver release notes, or you can just contact customer support. Now, if you got a Huion tablet, there are two choices for you. Option one is to disable Windows Inc. as I showed you. The problem with that option is some apps require using Windows Inc. You can't turn it off. 
A very common case is if you're using a drawing app that's web-based. Those really require Windows Ink. So option one may not work for you. Option two is wait. I know Huion is working on ARM support and hopefully we'll see it released very soon. When Huion does formally announce ARM support in their tablet drivers, I'll update the video description and I'll add a pinned comment. Thanks for your time and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.